Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'll tell you what, we just introduced the zero line of suppressors and you guys already have a bunch of questions. So I'm here today to at least answer one of them. Uh, and that is, what is hub compatibility? Um, so one of the things with our zero line of suppressors is that we have them where they come with two different direct thread adapters. So depending on the caliber, um, you're either gonna have a half inch 28 or a 5H24 direct thread already installed and then it's going to come with the other one in the package. Uh, so these are direct thread for your muzzle device. However, the other end of the direct thread adapter is hub compatible. Uh, now there are a number of different hubs out there. Ours is one and three eighths inch uh, by 24 threads per inch. Uh, so there are a lot of different suppressors out there with that thread pitch and we went with the more common one available out there. So one and three eighths or 1.375 uh, by 24 is what we use. So what does this mean for you? Well, what that means is when you get one of our zeroed suppressors, you're gonna be able to get one that is just ready to go. You can take it and you can go ahead and put it on your firearm as is with the direct thread adapter as long as you don't have a muzzle brake on it. But if you want to remove the direct thread adapter, all you'll need is a 3 8 inch socket wrench and a 7 8 inch box end wrench. Now I understand most of you are not gonna have a 7 8 box end wrench. So in this case, an adjustable wrench would probably do. Uh, so as far as when it comes to removing this, uh, if you have this snugged up, you simply need to take and get your 3 8 inch socket wrench in the one end, and then you're going to take and you're going to use the 7 8 on the other end to be able to loosen it up. Now, I've already got this loose just because I knew I was going to be coming out here doing a video today, um, but that's all it's going to take. And then you're going to be able to take and you're going to be able to unthread the thread adapter on this. And this is either going to allow you to change to the different thread pitch that came with the zero suppressor. So it allows you to choose between one of those two, or you can use more commonly available quick disconnect types. So this is a quick disconnect hub adapter off of one of our DEF CAN suppressors. And you can see, since this is also one and three eighths or 1.375, um, you can easily add this thread adapter to the zeroed suppressor. So now you have the hub adapter that is gonna run on the zeroed suppressor that is gonna be compatible with our SVD brakes that come on our pin and welded uh, firearms and other A2 styles. But you're not gonna be limited to just ours because uh, with it being one and three eighths, uh, it's gonna be pretty widely available and you can use other things like this one here. Uh, this is one of the more uh, more popular options on the market right now. And this is the plan B style suppressor uh, mount. So this is a quick disconnect. This is still the one and three eighths. This can easily thread directly into that. And then once you have it mounted, uh, there are wrench flats on this also. Uh, so it's really gonna depend on the muzzle device or the QD or hub adapter you get. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on installing this. Uh, so you're gonna see wrench flats. You're still gonna have the 3.8s here. You're gonna be able to snug this down. These don't need to be over torqued because whenever you put this onto the gun with the muzzle device that's compatible, um, this is just gonna be hand tight. This is just gonna be snug down. Then you're gonna be able to unthread it pretty easily. Uh, so as you can see, these are gonna be very compatible. And that's what we mean by these are hub compatible when you see this. So like I said, the main thing is, keep in mind, one and three eighths, 24 threads per inch is what our zeroed suppressors are threaded for. So if you find something that is compatible with that, uh, you should be good to go with that on your zeroed suppressor. Now, the one thing to keep in mind too though, is you can actually kind of take a quick glance and you can see, you know, if you were looking at some of these on a website, you're gonna be able to see, I don't know if I can get that bounce or not, but all right, we'll keep those two a little bit away from each other. If you're just looking at that at a website and you're not sure what that is, it looks hub compatible and the manufacturer might even say that it's hub compatible. However, if you actually put these two 
right against each other, you're gonna see there's a very obvious difference. Uh, this is significantly smaller. So all I really have to do is reiterate to you that these are one and three eighths or one, one 0.375 by 24 hub compatible. You can keep the direct thread adapters. Again, these do come with both. They come with a half 28 and a 5H 24. You can use one of those and go ahead and just direct thread it onto your muzzle device. Or if you have muzzle devices that you like for quick disconnect, as long as they have the appropriate hub compatible adapter, you can use those. So hopefully that sheds a little light on what hub compatible is. So guys, thanks for joining me today. And as always, Stay safe out there.